welcome back to my channel sharp designs by lakeisha where i am designing my way through life and inspiring you to do the same if you are new here please go ahead and subscribe to join the designer family and make sure you hit your post notification bell so that you are notified every single time i do an upload and you're not tardy to the party feels so good to be talking to you guys i know it has been a while but as you know everything that's going on i've been laying low and i finally got the strength to just go ahead and get a vlog done for you guys i actually started this vlog last week and i just never got to it um, but i said i'm going to start doing better with putting out content for you guys this is absolutely the best time to get your practice on because we should all be quarantining ourselves right now to keep ourselves safe um, from the virus so definitely hope that all of you are doing that and that you are safe and if you are not I hope you have a speedy recovery um, but in today's vlog you saw the cover photo I'm going to be doing a really simple tutorial um, as you guys know back during the holidays I sent out a blast to you guys on my social media account letting you guys know that there was an awesome deal going on for these particular backdrop stands that you were able to grab them for between 60 70 bucks depending on if you got the hexagon or the circle or the pentagon they had three different ones and i will definitely link it down in the description box for you guys to check out if you're interested in purchasing um even though this is such a trying time i hope that you guys are not letting this stop you from celebrating your special milestones that you have coming up birthdays graduations just because everything is on pause does not mean that you have to stop celebrating hence dakota's birthday vlog that i posted before this one um, I hope that you all got a chance to see that. If you did not, go ahead and check it out. Um, later this week, I'm going to shoot the, a vlog on how I did the DIY dessert cart um, that I showed you guys that I used for her birthday party. I'm going to walk you guys through all of those steps because I do still have it up. The balloons are still um, up. I've just taken them down and moved them to a different location. Um, what else? What else? Updates. Also, the vlog before Dakota's birthday vlog. I posted was our Hawaii trip that we took before things got crazy and I also included my 100k giveaway instructions in that vlog so definitely check that out I'm gonna pick a winner after all of this craziness is going because some of the prizes are things that have to be one-on-one -on -one. I am gonna to get to meet one or a few I'm still trying to decide depending on the views it gets definitely want to do a uh, one-on-one -on -one with one of you guys or a few of you guys i'm also offering one of these backdrop stands that i'm showing you guys in today's vlog as a giveaway as well as um hand-picked balloons by me for your next event that you may have coming up i will actually purchase the same type of balloons that i purchased to do my balloon garlands and balloon installations for you to diy your own yeah so those are the prizes so definitely go watch that vlog to see how you can enter the drawing to win one of those items um and if you have nothing to do just support and watch this is my full-time job so definitely go ahead support and watch the vlog just to you know see what we're up to in hawaii it was a good time um so yeah so without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started before you get started you're going to need balloons you're going to need a backdrop stand of some sort and you're gonna need some fake flowers as well as some faux greenery as well as a pool noodle and then you're gonna need either 260 balloons or fishing line or balloon ribbon to adhere your garland portion of this so let's go ahead and get started all right guys just finished getting it up this is what it looks like it's not perfect um but it's nothing that is noticeable it's just that this part up here isn't all the way in but it took forever to get that part but if it wasn't for getting that last one in this would have been probably a 10 minute <laughs> put together um i haven't also put the screws in yet because i did buy this for one of my events that were rescheduled due to the rona going around so these are the screws um this is again something else that i'll let bay figure out um when he comes back home as well as get him to get this right but for the most part it's sturdy i tried to take it out but it's in there pretty good so may not even i'm not even going to use the screws for this but just wanted to get this part done tonight to ensure that i was in the mood to do this tomorrow yeah so this is it so tomorrow i'm going to decorate this with you guys 
and I will have it linked down in the description box if you're interested in purchasing. This is one of the stands that I showed you guys around the holidays um, that was on sale. And I do believe at this time, when I went on the website yesterday, they are running an additional 20% off. So you can get it for around the same price. Um, it was about 60 or $70 when I purchased this around the holidays. But I will see you on tomorrow. All right, so this is the setup. I started it the other night. It was kind of dark, but um, this is how it ended up coming out. I put some shears behind it um, just so the wall wouldn't be distracting. The first thing that I'm gonna do to get this a backdrop started, I'm still trying to figure this out in my head. I have a plan. Remember guys, it's always important to have a plan before you start doing anything. That way you don't have to fix or repeat or waste any materials or anything when you're working. But I do have an idea of what I want in my head. I'm just gonna see how this works out because this is my first time actually using the hexagon shape backdrop stand. So the first thing I'm gonna use, cause I do wanna add the greenery and flowers on here to give it more of a romantical type feel is I have my pool noodles. You guys have seen me use this a couple different times in vlogs. I love it cause it's cheap and you get a lot of it and it does the same thing as when you purchase the foam bricks that which are a lot more expensive. So what I did was I took a knife and I simply slid it down the middle so that this part opens up and I'm gonna go ahead and get that attached on here because I want my flowers and greenery to be on this side. And so now that that's done, and I did center it so that um, that way when I'm dispersing the greenery with flowers, it will kind of cover up that little side over there. And then down in this corner is where I'm planning on putting my balloons right now, but who knows, things may change. All right, so next up is greenery and I have a ton of this. Um, I grabbed these from Walmart and I have, I got about a lot of, I don't know what say about 20 bunches of this um, that I've had over time and it's lasted pretty well. I've cut it up, it came in a, a big piece but I've cut it, cut it up so I'm just gonna use these stems to stick into the foam that we've attached here and kind of get like a nice array of it before I add in my flowers. Guys, so this is how my greenery looks in the foam. I think it came out really good. Tons of it, very beautiful. And again, I got this from Walmart. You can see through there, but that'll be covered with the floral in just a moment. So the next thing on my list is to add my floral. Um, these are the flowers that I'm gonna be using. If you guys saw my balloon heart tutorial, then these look very familiar to you. Um, I'm gonna be using these, I don't know if I'm gonna use the white just yet, but I know for sure I'm gonna use these two shades of the blush and the bubblegum shade pink. Um, I'm gonna use my wire cutters to cut the stems apart and then just stick them in there kind of sporadically to give it a little bit of, you know, color over there. So now that I have this part done, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the balloons. Um, I did blow up most of them already, but I'm gonna show you guys a quick refresher on how I use my balloon pump to blow those up, and then we're gonna start over on the other corner as far as making our balloon floral area to tie the balloon in with the beautiful greenery. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so we are back and I've already blown up a bunch of the balloons, like I already said, but I did want to give you guys kind of a refresher because I noticed that in my more recent videos where I haven't been doing step-by-step step, that you guys had questions on what I'm using to blow up these balloons. And it's so funny when people ask me, when I'm actually when they see me setting up for a bit, like, you blew up all of those? And I'm like, yeah. They're thinking I'm doing it by mouth, but no. I use this pump that I grabbed off of Amazon. I'm around between about 20 bucks. I'll link it down in the description box for you. And it has two nozzles on it. And so when you're blowing up your balloons, first thing you're gonna do is, 
Yeah, mommy's gonna use those too. So it has two nozzles which are here and here, and when you push one of them, air comes out, or you can use the on-off switch, and it'll just start blasting air out, but I don't typically use that way because it seems like too, a bit extra. So you're gonna take two balloons, I'm gonna take these two, which are the colors that I'm using in this setup today. And the 11 inch balloons go over the holes pretty simple. You slide them on, make sure you have a firm handle on it. And voila. And they're two different sizes on purpose. When I'm doing organic balloons, I like my balloons to be um, different sizes. So when, hold it baby, baby, I can't hear. So what I'm gonna do is just release some of the air out of them one at a time, but I'm still pinching the end so that my air doesn't come out. Press it firmly against my hand, which gives it more of a round shape, as you can see, instead of that cone shape, it's round now instead of coney, the pink one. And then I'm gonna air into this one, and now they're both round, and then I'm just gonna tie them together which gives me a dupe that I can use now in my balloon garland. All right, so you guys saw me complete this area over here, so now we're about to come over here and put balloons down in this corner. I'm gonna try to do it in a nice, soft, romantic way so that it'll match the vibes that my flowers are giving up there. Hey guys, so I'm back, and what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys um, how to actually tie your balloons to get them um, hooked up together. It's gonna be really brief, but I promise I'm gonna do a um, tutorial for you guys soon. Um, and like I told you guys, this is the bag. I didn't do a huge bag because I'm just doing this area, but these are some of the balloons that have already blown up. I have some clusters done, um, different shapes, sizes. I'm also gonna do a step-by-step -step tutorial for you guys on how I do my clusters, because I have seen quite a few of you asking about, um, about those. I did, looks like they're all different shapes, sizes, and I used the 260 balloons, as I told you guys previously, to create those. So you'll see me do that later on. So looks like I did four sets of clusters, and then I just have a few balloons to be my base for this area over here. That's you, baby. What's up? What happened? Ooh, let me show them. Ooh, guys, look at coverage. We've been working on letters and stuff, so she thinks she's drawing letters. Good job, baby. Is that an A? Good job, a letter A. Those are letter. Those are baby A's. You did. Good job, baby. So we're gonna go ahead and start attaching these balloons, and this is the cluster I just made with you guys. You can use fishing line, which is what I typically use for my huge garlands. You can use the 260 balloons, or you can use balloon ribbon. Hell, if you wanna use string, use string, but I've never used string. <laughs> okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is take one end of my 260 balloon and tie it around this cluster here. I'm gonna double tie it because this is the first one and it's set in the base. <laughs> and then once I have that done. All right, cool. Let mommy finish. Thank you, baby. Get my cluster's out of the way. All right, and so now that I have this one hooked up to the string, I'm gonna take another cluster. I'm gonna press this one down here so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put this one on top, just like making a cross, and bring my 260 balloon in the middle. And then what I'm gonna do now, the thing that you wanna keep in mind is that the point of the string is to attach the balloon. So the first thing you're gonna do is cross it over the new balloon to hook it, and then you're gonna bring it, sorry y'all, and then you're gonna bring it back around the existing balloon that was already there, and you're gonna pull it up in the middle. 
And when you do that pull, I like to wrap it around for good measure. And they are now attached together. So let me get another set out. So I'm gonna take this cluster here, I'm gonna press it in between, making a cross. I'm gonna go over the new balloon to lock it in place, bring it around an existing, back up in the center. Then I like to wrap it around for good measure. Another balloon, put it on top, bring it over the new, back around an existing, back up in the center, slight pull, and around for good measure. Gonna have another one, put it in the middle here, over the new, around an existing, meet it in the middle, back around for good measure. And as you can see, this is what we have so far. So I decided that I do want to make it taller, so I'm gonna start adding in these few clusters that I made. The next thing I'm about to do is go ahead and start adding in my clusters. I showed you guys briefly them earlier. There's just different size shape balloons clustered up and attached onto the 260 balloon. Um, I'm trying to think if I should do a certain order. I want to keep the bigger ones down towards the bottom. So I'm going to start off, so these three have the biggest balloons. So I'm going to start off with this one down here. How I add my clusters on is I find the spot and then I place it there. And then I'm going to take the string part, wrap it around the balloon that's already there or in it for this thing. All right, so now that this portion is out of the way, I'm gonna start preparing for my greenery and if I see if I wanna add some flowers to it to finish it off. I think it's looking pretty good so far, guys. I took some of the pieces that broke off and kind of stuck them in random places and that gave it just the amount of greenery that I think it needed. And so what I'm gonna do now is just go in and stick in full bunches of the same color flowers I used in the main greenery part and this will be all done. So once I do that, I will see you. 